Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right. It's not far from here. Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. And it's probably for the best, and I'm pretty, I'm worrying what this is about, too. I thought there'd be snacks. <laughs> I thought there'd be drinks. <laughs> I brought salt poppers, if you want some. Those are vile. Ah, what the hell. I'll have a few. You know how long this will take? No, not really. Do not. Why? Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Oh, shop class. I hear the cat. Where's the cat? Anyway. Big news, whatever it is. Yeah. How can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. It, what? After tonight, everything changes. How long have you known her exactly? I mean, it's about? Uh, just that we all had to be here. Hmm. Maybe we're getting fired. <laughs> no, there's still coffee. So? Well, the first sign of layoffs is when they stop replacing the coffee. I'm always wary of impromptu team meetings. Of course you know that. You fire people Why? before. It's usually when people get fired. You have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. She didn't call this meeting lightly. Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. Such a charming location for... whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow nor alter its arc. But if you could, what would you suggest I do? Waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? I should think not. So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. Good thing you're fireproof. Uh, what? Nothing. I have a feeling about the meeting. You think she's announcing a team barbecue? <laughs> Not exactly. What a waste of my evening. You know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. Uh, any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. Why do you say that? Mm, just a feeling. Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh. Whatever it is, it can't be good. An auspicious night, don't you think, Mr. Rogers? Stop calling me that. I can't live up to that name. This is odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. Yeah, they're all right. Something's up, and it's not really a good feeling. You feeling all right? I hope they're wrong, and I am too. Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you are hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. Take your time. I will catch up with the others. Thank you. It won't be long. All right, I'm ready. You're all ready to hear what you have to say. That was quick. Time to tear off the bandage. Uh-oh. 
Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the Mother of Demons. Whoa there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the Hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? Every one of us bears responsibility for our failure. Hey, I just got here. Except for Logan. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. And Parker. He is fine. Oh, okay. But the rest of us spend our time at odds. We have accomplished next to nothing since my return. Unless you count losing ground to my mother. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could've fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the Hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? Only if everyone wants me to do it. I can only speak for myself, but you already convinced me. Just like that? It's a heavy responsibility. I wanted to hear you say you're willing to bear it. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. Uh... Hmm... This is all so new to me. I will rely on every one of you. Help me do the best I can. I will make mistakes. We all will. But the team is here to hold us steady, no matter if we stumble. Highly inspirational, boss. But let's get down to Vibranium Tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. Tony, do you believe the world is truly in danger? Of course. And do you believe I can lead the team against this threat? Well, yeah. Then you and the rest of the Avengers need to trust me to do what is best for all of us. Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. I would never doubt the capabilities of the Midnight Suns. You know that, do you not? Of course. And we aren't asking for special treatment, just... A seat at the table? Yeah, exactly. Of course you will have that. Everyone will. You have my guarantee. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. 
If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the hunter. Uh oh. So that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I had no idea this was coming. Kiddo, you have no poker face. For the others to consider you as a leader, your reaction needed to be genuine. Was Steve in on this? No, but he respects you, and I had a feeling he'd speak his mind. If he hadn't suggested you take the reins, it would have been me. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity, and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No. You drain faster than bathwater. <laughs> There's the Sarah I know. The one who yells at everyone? Not what I expected. Is that good or bad? Right now? Feels good to me. I could have brought popcorn. For the team? No, to watch you turn the Abbey upside down and shake it like tambourines. You were more entertaining than anything I could have done tonight. Next time, I'll bring popcorn. Did you plan this with Caretaker? I don't know how to feel about that. Impressive to see that in person. What exactly? Let's head back down there. I need to go to bed or something, man. I told you about Agatha. I sincerely hope I won't need to repeat myself after tonight. Stop. We've known each other too long for this. What? Half a century? If you round down. And I should have been there for you. Well, you're here now. Agatha would have loved what you did. <laughs> Can you picture her if I hadn't? Sleepy time. Oh, boy. Oh, thank God. No nightmares. <laughs> table our pulse on everything hydra really brings an avengers tower vibe to this place it has been useful the abbey always harbored great resources but stark and the doctor have enhanced its abilities tenfold don't get me wrong tony and the other steven are great but i believe in giving credit where credit is due you've also been doing your fair share and i wanted to let you know that it hasn't gone unnoticed that is a generous compliment to give. Thank you, Captain. It's not generous when it's true. They say a good soldier should always trust his gut. And if my gut is right, and it's almost always right, I think you have a destiny beyond just defeating Lilith. And what destiny is that? Keep playing it straight with me, Hunter, and maybe I'll trust you enough one day to tell you. I want to share something with you. Something I have never shared with another. Magic, I... When I was at Professor Xavier's school, I would listen to this album in my room all the time. Sometimes for many days straight. After your time in limbo, music must have been a revelation. It was a lifeline, but it made me no friends. I prefer to listen in solitude, as I always have. You are not alone now. Good. You noticed. The others would not understand. But I know you will, as we both have so much in common. I 
I suppose we are kindred spirits in a way. Of course. We are both children of darkness who escaped our destinies and decided to forge new ones. We are both reformed, trying to be good guys now, even if we do not always succeed. It's nice to have someone to relate with. It is, is it not? Okay, enough talking. Let's listen to the album now. The second hour is when it really gets good. I was running a search for our new pal Blaze's location, and all of a sudden, this happened. Equone credite tucri. Latin? Do not trust the horse Trojans. Carol, just what type of search were you running? There. It's a message. Well, more like a bad dad joke from beyond the grave. Howard? His research files. Whenever there's any unauthorized access, the Trojan Horse program activates, and... Bingo. There's our little thief right there. The Southwest. That cannot be a coincidence. Tony, did Howard do this to all his files? Oh no. Only the good stuff. The really juicy stuff. How juicy? Well, I'll give you two guesses, but you'll only need one. A big green one. Stark, wait. We don't know what he's planning. Hesitated with Bruce before and it cost us. Don't worry. This time I've accounted for... And if these results are correct, it changes everything. everything. You knowingly triggered that Trojan horse, didn't you? I did. Another trap, Bruce? Huh. I'm disappointed. No trap, Tony. An invitation. To what? Join Queen Demon and the Creepy Crew? If anyone could fight her off, I'd have thought it'd be you. And why would I ever want to do that? She values me, not the monster you all seem so fixated with. Together. We will shatter the limitations of what you refer to as magic and science. But don't take my word on it. My Gamma Accelerator is only the first step. We stand on the precipice of true Yeah, yeah, I heard that one before. Usually when Pops was ready to kick off a new arms race. Save your phony disgust for the cameras. We both know you're interested. I want you to finish Howard's work. Uh-huh. With me? Of course. Together we will fulfill your father's destiny. Yep. And bask in the glory of the Dark Mother. And there it is. Well, Bruce, I can see how well this whole Lilith thing is working out for you, but... The problem is... I already have a team. And while I appreciate the generous offer, we're gonna take back my father's data and then kick your evil ass. You misunderstand me, Tony. I wasn't asking. Well, me then. Well, then, okay. <laughs> Let's get on. Dr. Let's get on Thanos with this, shall we? Kind enough to alert Hydra's forces to your presence. If you ever wanted to show off your elite hacking skills, now would be the time, Mr. Stark. Me show off? What would ever give you that idea? And didn't I tell you to call me Tony? Just hack the computer before they smash it, please, Tony. See, that wasn't so hard. I'm looking good for you. They cannot possibly match your strength. Hail that. I'm gonna rip you a new one. Shoot up here! 
I know that wasn't your signature move. Hope you're ready. Dips on the ugly one. We will not fall that easily. Proceeding as planned. So that's too bad, it's helping you, Lord. I am the mother. Ow. Salesman Bruce, at least butter me up before you attack my deservedly huge ego. You have earned this. How long have you been waiting to do that? for Hydra. Your time has come. will be remembered. That facility is teeming with Hydra reinforcements. Anything you can do to expedite the process. Look, you can't just smash the keyboard and wait for a bunch of algebraic equations to fly off the screen. Love the effort. The light's gift. Feel free to do that anytime. No mercy to the servants of Lilith. Logan will be falling. Oh, I thought we were finished. Her children will join us. I got your back. If you think I'd want to make him proud, you don't know me at all, Bruce. Now for something real special. That'll work. I heard Lilith is kind of hot. Any of you dorks make a move yet? Credit where credit is due. Stark knows his technology. Why can it never be easy with you? Just lucky, I guess. Tony, wait! 
We have what we came for. There's no reason to follow him. Of course, he's gonna follow him. It's his friend. And his dad's work. about that. And Tony's right about that forehead. I will not be defeated. Coming after me. She's going to try summoning reinforcements unless you can disable her first. Sure. Good stuff. How about this, Slim? Oh, big deal. This shouldn't take long. How long have you been waiting to do that? A pretty good while, I'd say. Bother running. Every once in a while, the legends are true. Sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. 
Does someone feel a breeze? I will aid you if I can. They are being reinforced. Maybe I should be flattered. Lilith has made this. Interesting interpretation. I would have guessed it was something out of Giger's sketchbooks. This is going to get the follow trap, it stays this way. Surgical rig. Is it my turn now? In case I forget, remind me to thank Banner for unleashing this thing on us. He really doesn't handle rejection well. I know what my future holds. Do the trick. I will not waste this opportunity. They have got help. Bring it on. The longer this takes, the more danger you're in. Don't let her overwhelm you. Well, that's a really helpful insight. Maybe you should come down here and knock her out for us. I wasn't sure how you'd fare against her, but the Dread Maiden was no match for you. Let's go. <sighs> What'd you call that thing again? Dread Maiden. Oh yeah, I can see that. I think I lost myself there for a second. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry about that. He that starts out on a quest for vengeance. This work, this discovery, will have ramifications for generations to come. Think my own son, Tony. Better not miss. Oh, 
Well, okay then. <laughs> Okay, we're back. <laughs> Every time it seems like I finally put my family issues behind me, someone has to go and pick at the scar. Is this about what Banner found in your father's files? Bingo. Let's just say your mom and my dad would have made a real cute couple. In hell. At least you managed to grab whatever Banner was after. Tiny victory, I guess. But I don't think Banner or his puppet master are gonna give up that easily. Especially knowing what kind of stuff my father had in those files. Perhaps I should know more about him. Your father, that is. Some kids' dads had hobbies like collecting coins or stamps. Mine collected Defense Department contracts. And on the rare occasions when he wasn't off trying to build a better bomb, he was yelling at me. Over what? Over everything! So Banner wants one of your father's bombs. No, it's worse than that. Howard had an avid interest in gamma radiation. That's the thing that puts the Hulk in Hulk. He always talked of constructing a gamma accelerator, an unbelievably powerful piece of machinery. If that's what Banner's after, we could be in a world of hurt. Whatever it is, we will never let Banner get it. Well, I hope you're right. I wish I could have your can-do attitude right now. If it helps, we could go through the files together, and strategize. I appreciate the offer, Hunter, but right now I just need to get out of this suit and put my thoughts together. Coming to book club tonight? Meet you there. After you. I like this book, but I can't explain why. Maybe I'll figure it out as we discuss it. Hell's mustering all its machinations to thwart us at every turn. Times yeah. like these are when we need to rely on each other the most. Or we become dread made in food. Yeah. I should not be this nervous about what you all thought of the book. <laughs> Even the best translations from Cree lose subtext. Kinda miss the simplicity of vampire slaying. Everyone's in a mood. I'm good if you are. I am ready. Carol, this was your book, so you can start. I'll throw it back to you. What did you think of the book? I had a rough time with it. You didn't like it? Didn't say that. At first I've spent more time referencing the glossary than reading the book. Sounds familiar. What changed? I noticed a kind of rhythm to the words. I began to see them as lyrics to a song. All that dry talk faded and it finally came together. The lyrics made it feel much bigger than a chapter on Cree farming implements. This book was about much more than farming. Exactly. The rhythm to it helped paint a bigger picture. Once I caught on, I kept reading and didn't rely on the glossary. I picked everything up from context. That's when I realized none of this was about farming. I'm surprised how much stuck with me, despite some concepts being legit alien to me. Agreed. For me, the rhythm wasn't lyrics. It was more like the book was written to a cadence. That's why I had you read it on your Spark. The mnemonic lexicon won't work with a hard copy. The what now? An ancient Cree technique. It helps you remember texts that would otherwise be considered... There's no Cree word for stuffy, but essentially that. But all that's packaging. Let's get into the book itself. Uh, Hunter, did you figure out what the bloom and the harvest represent? The bloom represents the range of a fortress. The harvest happens when enemies enter that range. 
That's one vital part. You're right, the bloom can represent overlapping fields of fire, but it's more than one concept. At the time of the book's writing, the Kree cared most about integrating captured territory while still expanding their empire. Conquered worlds came with people. Rather than treat them as prisoners, the Kree provided them with most benefits enjoyed by Kree citizens. This period is known as the Cultivation. So the bloom was when they gained full citizenship under their conquerors? No, it's when the world requested it. As long as they could feed themselves with Kree farming techniques and defend their world with Kree defenses, the request was granted with few exceptions. So what's the harvest? As part of the service required by the Empire, many of these new citizens began the cultivation of freshly conquered worlds. So they were living examples. Show the newly conquered what they could achieve if they went along with the Empire. That's also how vampires work. Carol, I think I pieced together the Kree strategy. Do tell. It's all tied to agriculture. Every soldier knows you can't fight if you can't eat. But they applied this to their expansion. Till the field, sow the seed, pull the weed, reap the crop. It means the Cree wouldn't advance until the territory they took was secure and productive. If your enemy knows how you will act, they can prepare. Certainly, for other spacefaring empires. But most worlds had no idea the Cree existed until the invasion was underway. But the Kree expansion had momentum. They could afford to push harder because their whole weight was behind the advance. Unless a world could push just as hard, it would eventually fall under Kree control. Carol, how was that? Close enough to impress me. The strategy in Volume 32 wasn't perfect, but it worked out for the Kree far more often than it failed. What happened when it failed? That's covered in Volume 33. And that's book club. Steve, you're up next. What's your book? The Mantle of Authority, by General Chester Phillips. Is this the one you keep saying I should read? The very same. Now you have to. It's book club. Before I forget, I asked Logan to join us next time. He said yes? He can read? I can't wait to see how this goes. So why choose this book? Volume 30 was way too spicy for this crowd. Go on. I'm kidding. It's relevant to what we're facing today. Hydra, the Lilin, your mom. They seem to have the upper hand all over the world. The Kree never conquered this planet. Neither will my mother. Exactly. Reputation makes you seem bigger than you are. We can hit them anywhere, at any time. You can bet this adds to our own reputation. And that's how we defeat our enemy. As long as we're still standing, they're gonna fall. I hope you enjoy the book I chose. Why do you say that? It's about people who weren't around until after your death. But I'm sure you'll figure out the context. Okay, just between us. Carol's book was extremely weird, right? I learned a thing or two. What, how to grow turnips on the moon? That is harsh. I didn't think it was that bad. But interstellar agriculture as a metaphor for planetary conquest, not what I expected. You should be honest with Carol. I'm always honest with Carol. But if I tell her it was a weird book, I'll sound like I don't know much about her adopted culture. And how is that bad? You do not know, so this is the perfect opportunity to ask. Good point. All right, I'll do it. Thanks, Hunter. Good luck. On your way out? Yeah, I am done. Peace. Carol, I had some more thoughts on the book. You do? You must have really liked it. 
If Lilith mind jacks me, she's gonna be surprised how much of it is taken up by movie trivia and web fluid formulas. How are you, Peter? Better than the world out there. I've been watching this for hours, hoping to get a glimpse of the neighborhood, see how it's holding up through all this. But I guess Queens is not important enough for the news media to cover. An absence of news is not necessarily a bad thing. Is that supposed to make me feel better? So take heart that nothing is being reported regarding your neighborhood. It probably means everything is okay there. Thanks, Hunter. That makes me feel mildly better. I just hope Aunt May is safe. I've been trying to reach her on her cell all day today and the signal keeps dropping. I'm guessing that big hole in the New York atmosphere is interfering with her cellular network. Sometimes I feel like I should be there with her. To protect her. To protect the neighborhood. But I know you need me here. Be assured, we will not allow any harm to come to her. You really mean that? I do. That... I... means so much to me to hear you say. Oh, looks like I just got a message. From your Aunt May? No, MJ. She said Aunt May is staying with her. What a relief. You should call them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Thanks for checking in on me, Hunter. Stark's father had a secret trove of gamma research that Bruce Banner stole. It's your new thing. Let's see what the forge has for me. A successful collaboration. Mm hmm. Artifact study. You have my undivided attention. In this reality, in the end, my time could be dedicated to study. This is magic. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Always up for a challenge. Sometimes, I even impress myself. It's a simple question. I mean... Maybe? Maybe how? Maybe you did see a stolen piece of one-of-a-kind gamma tech at the mysterious creepy lab? It is possible. We were busy. Yeah, trying to save our friend. The one you all abandoned. Uh, no. The one we are all trying to save. Along with the rest of the planet. Banner's Accelerator. Now this from the person who saw their first light bulb a few weeks ago. And we're done here. What if I were to tell you that theoretically, we could use the accelerator to destroy the parchment of power? I would say, theoretically, that without the parchment of power, the prophecy could not come to pass. But that is impossible. Agreed. This from the wizard with the talking cape, the resurrected demon hunter, the blood witch, and the queen of limbo? <laughs> I'm the most boring person here. There might be a way to return to that facility. You never told me that. My sword retains a memory of every portal I open, but... It is better if I show you. I try to 
reach it. Something pushes back. Like I've hit a wall. A wall? More like pure evil. A demonic energy barrier. Unlike any I felt before. Bruce. No matter what we do, he's always one step ahead of us. And to think, he used to be the boring one. There has to be a way through, and we have to find it. Try explaining that to Auntie Caretaker. She just read me the riot act about putting you in danger. You worry about the barrier. I will handle Sarah. I like where this is going. Nice upgrade. Okay, where's caretaker? Over there. Oh boy. You appear to have something on your mind, Hunter. You obviously have something to say, so please say it. And make it quick, we don't have a lot of time. We need to go back to the Hydra Lab Banner was using. We need... I don't need to hear any more. The answer is no. Caretaker, please. It is possible we could use the Stark Gamma Accelerator there to destroy the Parchment of Power. Oh, in that case, let me make my displeasure clearer. There is no way in hell I'm letting any of you go back to that lab. Especially you. My job is to keep you alive, and that's what I intend to do. This is the last I want to hear of such an ill-advised plan. When I said you needed to work better as a team last night, I didn't mean you needed to work better to come up with absurd ideas. You are the one being absurd. Oh, is that right? That is right. Your overprotectiveness is preventing us from winning the war. I'm fighting every second to make sure you stay alive, for the second time. So if I come across as overprotective, you must know it's only out of care. If you're feeling productive, maybe gather the team and use their collective resolve to stop the days from marching forward. It seems time is one of our enemies as well now. So what did Caretaker say to Stark's big plan? Nothing good, that's for sure. Well, out with it. What did Caretaker say when you proposed breaking back into Big Bad Banner's lab to retrieve Stark's Gamma... Gamma... Gamma Accelerator. <laughs> yes, that. I cannot imagine it went well. <laughs> Not well at all. She will change her mind. <laughs> no, she won't. We're going to have to go sneaking around behind her back again if we want to get anything done. And we shouldn't have to do that. She should trust us. We should be trusted. The only person you need to trust in this world is yourself. And Nico, Blade, Robbie, and almost... You. You trust me, Ileana? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Hunter. I said almost trust. To tell you the truth, the only person I trust fully is Wanda. That's why it's imperative for you to convince Caretaker that going back to Banner's lab is in the best interest of the entire team. You think we will encounter Wanda there? I know we will. Now hurry along and figure out a way to make it happen. We are counting on you. Hey, Charlie. Good girl, Charlie. 
<laughs> what is my dog doing? But anyway, uh, I think that will be it for this episode. We really need to get her on our side and agree. But something tells me that ain't going to really uh, happen anytime soon. So, you find more coil, send it my way. We'll need to keep trying, I guess. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, and have a good day.